Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to test the performance of your SD-WAN or software-defined wide area network. I'm going to demonstrate how SD-WANs work and the essential steps for complete SD-WAN performance testing, including a great tip for replicating the SD-WAN in your test lab. So, what is SD-WAN? SD-WAN is a technology that uses software-defined networking concepts to distribute net network traffic across a wide area network. So why has SD-WAN become so popular? Well, it provides cost savings, network performance and reliability, scalability, and security. SD-WAN allows businesses to combine MPLS and broadband internet, delivering excellent performance at the lowest cost possible. MPLS is a very reliable, high-performing network, but can be very expensive, whereas broadband is much less expensive, but the quality of the network is lower. Using SD-WAN to make application-based routing decisions allows companies to reserve MPLS usage for mission-critical applications like web conferencing or voice over IP. SaaS applications or emails that don't require high-performance dedicated links can run it across a broadband, re reducing the cost. SD-WAN is also more scalable than a traditional WAN since it allows for organizations to easily add branches applications, and services without large hardware investments. Let's start with what a typical SD-WAN network could look like. Here we have a branch office with an SD-WAN gateway. The gateway is interfacing with an MPLS and broadband network. In this example, the MPLS network is responsible for carrying data to the headquarters, which has an SD-WAN gateway as well. The branch gateway will also have a broadband network that could connect to cloud applications or SaaS services. It's the function of these SD-WAN gateways to decide which application should traverse the MPLS or the broadband network. When testing the performance of your SD-WAN, a traffic generator is an excellent tool because it can simulate a variety of application traffic and test whether the SD-WAN gateway is making correct routing decisions. Now, let's talk about our test setup. A best practice is to emulate your SD-WAN network in the test lab so you don't disrupt your production network. By using a network emulator, you can configure each of your individual WAN links by adding network impairments like latency, packet loss, and throughput throttling. For example, an MPLS network might have a 60 millisecond delay with a loss of 1 in 10,000 packets. With a network emulator, you can configure these exact network impairments to mimic the real MPLS network in your lab. You can also emulate the broadband network, which might have a 120 millisecond delay with a drop of 1 out of 2,000 packets. Using a traffic generator, you can simulate the application traffic from the branch office as well as the endpoints at HQ and the cloud. By generating application traffic at scale and sending it through the WAN emulator, we can measure the performance metrics and validate the SD-WAN gateways before you deploy them to production. There are five main areas to test to ensure your SD-WAN is performing at its best. Path selection, quality of service prioritization, resilience and failover, application performance, and security. Jumping into path selection, since SD-WAN manages multiple links, path selection is the ability to automatically route traffic onto the appropriate WAN link, depending on network conditions, traffic characteristics, or application type. By testing with a traffic generator and network emulator, you're able to verify that the SD-WAN controller can detect and react to imperfect network conditions and make logical routing choices to optimize performance. Moving on to quality of service. Quality of service prioritization is the ability for the SD-WAN to correctly prioritize the traffic based on the policy set by your organization. For example, you need to test the SD-WAN gateways to ensure they are assigning traffic that is considered latency sensitive to MPLS and reserve the non-critical app traffic for the broadband. Many traffic generators allow you to configure traffic streams with specific DSCP and TOS prioritizations. By using this feature in the traffic generator, you can validate that the SD-WAN gateway is correctly routing the traffic according to the priority packet headers. Resilience and failover refers to the SD-WAN's ability to maintain business critical services during a network failure or outage. You need to test whether the SD-WAN successfully reconnects critical traffic to the best performing link in the event of an outage or disruption. 
By configuring multiple links on the network emulator, we can initiate random link failures. This allows us to verify that the SD-WAN gateway can not only detect the outage and reroute traffic, but also revert back to normal when the link comes back up. Now that you've set your quality of service and tested link failover, you need to know, do your applications have enough resources to perform optimally? Using a network emulator with a traffic generator lets you test how the SD-WAN gateway will respond to different network impairments and traffic loads. Some traffic generators even allow you to record and replay exact production traffic. This way you can measure network and application performance, identify failure points, and optimize applications before you go to production. It's common for SD-WAN gateways to have a firewall functionality built into them. By using a traffic generator to generate a mix of valid application traffic and simulate malicious attacks, you can test whether the security settings on your SD-WAN gateway are functioning correctly. You can determine if the device can successfully block malicious traffic, such as malware, DDoS, and NDA attacks, while still allowing production traffic to pass through. Sending both regular and attack traffic at high scale also enables you to test if the device continues to perform as expected and not get overrun. Using these five test methods will help you select and optimize the right SD-WAN system, settings, and vendor for your specific network conditions and applications. To learn more about SD-WAN performance testing, follow the link in the description.